This is your last day to comment on Gary Gensler's recent proposals. As you can see over here today is the final day for the trading industry and investors to submit comments on the SEC recent proposals. And guess what? Wall Street is already lining up to fight back Gary Gensler and his proposals. As you can see over here the, the package from Gary Gensler is so complex that some of the events that happened with GameStop in 2021 are actually target of these particular changes. The package is so complex and potentially far reaching that Gary Gensler has broken them into four separate proposals. Two of them have sizable industry support and are likely to be adopted, even from the hedge funds. Very interesting. But the other two proposals are facing serious opposition and at least one of them, the effort of Gary Gensler to replace payment for order flow by an auction process, which came out after the GameStop saga, has the major major argument over there and guess what the argument of course will be coming from companies who are benefiting from payment for order flow but it is something even more controversial and something that has even greater fight better pricing for the small little individual investor the most controversial of all proposals involves change in the way how certain orders are executed on the markets from the brokers According to Gary Gensler, the critical role of how orders are actually executed through payment for order flow, some retail brokers, including Charles Schwab, E-Trade and Robinhood, route orders to electronic market makers known as the wholesalers, including Citadel and Virtue, who pay the brokers access fee to actually execute their order flow. These wholesalers may send the orders to the exchanges but often match the orders against their own internal order flow. So they have the choice to send the orders to the lead markets, but most likely they choose not to. And something that this time around is very, very different is Gary Gensler is not only aiming to protect individual investors, he's also putting his efforts to protect pension funds. Look at this. According to Gary Gensler, Pension funds and other institutional investors are not able to interact with the retail order flow. He also claimed that the brokers are putting their financial gain ahead of the requirements to provide best prices for the clients. Essentially what Gary Gensley is trying to portray is that it's not only you, the little guy with 100 hours in your account trying to buy stocks, not getting the best prices according to Gary Gensler. He said that even the pension funds the money managers that are not involved in this crazy payment for order flow, I would say business plan or system of operation, are not benefiting from it. Gary Gensler is saying that even if you spend a hundred million dollars from your retirement fund trying to buy certain security, using some of these brokers, you might actually not get the best deals over here. So this is how Gary Gensler will take on his side, not only the little guys, approving and stepping in and supporting his ideas and change of plans but now he's trying to get also the big wealthy retirement funds and pension funds to support him so he will have at least equal battlefield trying to compete and change the rules and the game that Wall Street has been playing for quite some time. Remember this is your last day to go on SEC's website and submit your comment on these particular changes. You want to make sure that you express your thoughts, you express your concerns, express your ideas and if you have certain evidences for something, better pricing, where orders have been executed or have not been executed, your experience using particular brokers, you gotta go and submit your experience. Again, as always, we're not hyping, we're not putting certain dates or time frame in which something has to happen if approved. But guys, let me know, what do you expect to happen? And if everything is approved, what will change and how the game will change for big boys on Wall Street? Yeah.